Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you all of my 2022 favorites because I really think you should not be starting 2023 without trying any of these because they are products that changed everything. And especially if you have my skin type, which is normal to dry and aging, this rosacea, so sensitive skin, these products are going to rock your wall too. Let's start with skincare. 2022 was the year where I let's say consolidated my love for this product. I think I tried it for the first time at the end of 2021. And in 2022, it definitely affirmed itself as my favorite cleansing balm. If you follow my channel or my Instagram account, you know I love double cleansing, but I find the process a little bit tedious. What I look for in cleansers is also that they are creamy or oily and they don't dry up my skin because my skin tends to dry up and tingle and sting a lot. So this product by Paula's Choice is the Omega Plus Complex Cleansing Balm. Not only cleanse your skin for the day, but it's capable of removing every little bit of makeup, even if it's waterproof. It's very good in removing sunscreen as well. Only one minute and it erases every trace. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive than your usual cleanser, but I highly recommend you get it. I hope, Polish Choice, if you're watching this, please don't discontinue this ever. The second product I wanted to talk to you about is Evening Pure Stimulus by the Rosacea Treatment Clinic. I think you've already seen a full review of this product in this video right here, where I reviewed the whole routine by the Rosacea Treatment Clinic. This has been instrumental for me and for my skin texture. Every time I use it, I see the difference in my skin texture. I feel like my skin is a little bit more um, on the smooth side. I have less texture overall and it's also helping my aging process so to say. I mean I'm almost 40 now so and it's not easy to um, I would say manage and maintain rosacea and also not drying your skin out. This product has been instrumental for this. The other product really saved my skin is again from Paula's Choice, as like acid booster with licorice and salicylic acid. So what happened during 2022 is that for reasons unknown, probably mask wearing, I don't know, my skin started to develop a huge breakout in this area. Nothing could really control until I tried this product right here. It's a product that you need to be a little bit more patient with. You will start seeing the first results after the first month of use, but in some cases you can also wait until two, three months to see results. But I promise you it's worth every penny and it will work because I don't have those huge bumps anymore and it's so liberating. The final skincare product I discovered and loved and it's a staple for me in 2022 is this sunscreen also by the Rosacea Treatment Clinic. It is the desensitizing barrier fluid SPF 50. Um, it is a very elegant and glowy formula. I cannot love it enough. You need to see this video right here where I try it on and where I talk about all of the Rosacea Treatment Clinic skincare routine. It is amazing, just phenomenal, exceptional. Um, if you want a cheaper alternative to that, um, there is also the Paula's Choice Essential Glow Aid Moisturizer, which I also loved in 2022, and it is a staple in my skincare routine anyway. Now let's talk about makeup favorites. All of these products are very suitable for skins with a rosacea or for sensitive skins. Most of these products don't have a scent. The first product that was a real revelation for me in 2022 is the Glowy Fire Primer by Catrice. This is an illuminating primer. It is very, very similar, I would say, to the um, By Terry Sissy Serum, Charlotte Tilbury Primer, Wonder Glow Primer, something like that. Not the Hollywood Flawless Filter because the texture is slightly different and it's a little bit more um, on the liquid side. But this is a fantastic product, you guys, and it's a three-in-one. You can use it as a primer or a standalone product. You can use it mixed with your makeup underneath your uh, foundation, mixed with your foundation, or as a highlighter. And it is a fantastic product in all of its uses. I discovered that this was enough to conceal some of the redness in my skin. And um, 
really helped me with having a very simple routine every day to go to the office, meaning that I would apply this, my redness was already subside, uh, my face was really, really glowy and looking healthy, and I just needed concealer for under the eyes or concealing uh, little spots here and there or this central part of my face and i was good to go no need for a foundation so this is exceptional it also doesn't contain any perfume and alcohol so it's suitable for um, sensitive skin like mine it contains watermelon extract and all of those good skincare ingredients second makeup item that i want to show to you is a foundation I put it in my 2022 favorites, but it's an all-time favorite, I think, because I discovered it probably in 2020 and it never left my side. Um, it's the Guerlain L'Essentiel Foundation. This, however, it's a very scented item, but it never really inflamed my skin. On the contrary, um, if I use it for an entire week, I notice that my skin undergoes some significant improvements in the texture because it is also a skincare and makeup hybrid. This formulation is exceptional. It's a very glowy foundation, but it's also good in coverage. And and all you need is two pumps to cover your entire face. It doesn't emphasize pores or fine lines. It's alcohol free, very expensive, around 55 euros, but it's worth every penny. This is a foundation that I'll keep, that I'll keep repurchasing over and over again. And I've never tried anything similar to this. Nothing comes closer. It is fantastic. Speaking about face, I have a bronzer favorite right here. It's the Holiday Skin Luminous Bronzer by Catrice. It reminds me of the NARS Laguna bronzer, but a little bit less um, luminous. The second bronzer I really, really loved in 2022 is this one from Hourglass in this Hourglass palette, Radiant Bronze Light. So even if I have dry skin, feel the need to powder, especially in my T-zone and under my eyes. Concealer tends to crease immediately on me because I have these high cheeks, you know, <laughs> and when I smile, I have lines. In 2022, I discovered the Loose, Loose Setting Powder in Translucent by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is an underrated hero of makeup. The powder is so finely milled that it just blurs everything every pore every fine line you have without being cakey and um without kind of aging you you know because that can happen also with powders i've had a treble size since last christmas i think and it's lasting there is still half a bit here and I've been using it every day. So this is a fantastic product and the price is just right for how long it lasts. The Catrice True Skin Concealer. This is nothing new, but I only gave it a go this year. The price is very, very small and the performance is really the same performance that you would get from something high-end that you could find at Sephora. My favorite highlighter in 2022 is this one and I am so sorry because this product is only available in Brazil so unless you go to Brazil or you have a Brazilian friend that can um, bring it to Europe it will be very very hard to find this but maybe if you all comment under this video i can send it to the brand and the brand can start sending these products to europe who knows uh, this is the linea mariana saatchi um, by oceani highlighter i don't remember exactly the name i will just put a text in the color gold and it is this amazing golden powder that is very very shiny very very glowy i'm not a subtle highlighter type or not always and it doesn't really emphasize my fine lines around my eyes so it's perfect and it's the perfect color that i look for from a highlighter because i really don't think that these champagne or very cold colors um work well with my complexion this is an amazing product it is a limited edition and it is discontinued in most places but you can still find it online and i really recommend you try it because it also contains my two of my favorite blushers for 2022 these are amazing products they are so pigmented i barely touched the powders 
And as you can see, they give a fantastic glowy effect and they blur everything. These contain hyaluronic acid, so it really feels like you're putting some cream on you, but they are powders. It's just, and they are so light reflecting. It's just amazing what they could do. But in 2022, as I was saying before, I also love the hourglass powders. I buy these hourglass palettes because I think they are very good value for the money. And in this palette right here, I have two. So what is special about um, hourglass powders is that they don't cake up no matter how much you layer them, it always seems like only one layer on your skin and um, they are powders, but they are capable of reflecting the light so much that they give you this glass skin effect. If you want me to uh, make a more in-depth review of our glass palettes because they are so expensive, so you really need to know everything about them before you try them, please leave a comment right here. And also from this palette, I fell in love with the Hourglass Finishing Powder. Um, this one is Radiant Light and it is the best for skin tone. I love finishing powders as a whole. I am a heavy user of uh, Guerlain Meteorites, but these Hourglass powders are also exceptional. Another blush I really, really loved in 2022, Charlotte Tilbury The Climax more of a bronzy j-lo uh, type of shade which i really really appreciate and um i have suggest you try it. i get a lot of comments from my eyebrows and my eyebrow routine in 2022 has been the same i had in 2021 and it's here to stay it comprises of the benefit 24 hours brow setter this is the best brow gel I've ever tried. I love the formula because it doesn't leave white residues no matter how much you layer um, and it has this fantastic applicator. And then I go in with the NYX Lift and Snatch Marker, brown marker. Um, this is the best value for money you can get. It's very precise, it's very fine. In 2022, I have two favorites. Now, I'm really sorry because these favorites um, are A, only available in Brazil, and B, a limited edition. This one, however, you can still get it somewhere. This is the Maxime Giacomo in Colors palette, eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Catrice. I won't go too much into details because I have a review about this little guy right here on my channel already, but um, these colors are amazing. This is a very day to night, suitable palette uh, for and there is something for every taste um there are mattes there are shimmery there are glittery textured shades um the color payoff is amazing the durability is amazing it's just a fantastic product it's a special day palette by linia marina saji by oceani again um in 2022, I discovered neutrals once again, and I think this is the best palette, best neutral palette I've ever tried. The tones are a good blend. Um, none of them are really, really cold. I would say more neutral and warm tones. Um, different textures and the color payoff is amazing. The blendability is amazing. 2022 has been my year with eyeliners. Um, if you have my same eye type, drawing eyeliner on this kind of eye is very, very difficult. And um, there aren't many eyeliners on the market that allow us to actually draw um, eyeliner in simplicity. Uh, but these ones by Linia Marina Saji by Oceani are definitely super suitable for that. Tip is really, really thin. It is one of those brush type of applicator which is best for very um, droopy aging deep set eyes it comes in wonderful luminous colors there is a blue there are two green um, one brown that has golden reflex a pink one a purple one it is just so amazing what they did and i really wish they would bring it to europe 
For mascaras, I have two favorites, the Essence Lash Princess, uh, the green one, and the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara. Just know that these are the best mascaras ever because they are so inexpensive, but so beautiful and performative that you cannot get anything else quite like them. Uh, in particular today, I'm gonna use the I Love Extreme Volume mascara and you can see how much uh, it makes my lashes be voluminous but also but also big like it lengthens the lashes so so well and it's extremely black kvd primer shake primer this is a product that required me a little bit of practice before i actually got the hang of it it is an extraordinary primer. It has two phases, so you have to shake it. It's this gray liquid. It looks a little bit scary. You only need one drop and then you pat it on the eye. Make sure you don't do it like I did it in this video. Make sure you don't wear foundation, you don't wear concealer, and you don't wear powder underneath it. The colors of your eyeshadows will be 10 times more pigmented. What I love doing in 2022 um, was to overline my lips, uh, but always in a natural way. I don't like it when it's too overdrawn or where the line is really super visible. So my favorite is an all-time favorite. Uh, it's the MAC Lip Pencil in Whirl because it's just the most suitable for my skin tone. It's almost imperceptible, almost invisible on me. And the other one is the Soulmate Lip Liner by Linia Marina Saji by Oceani. You will see in this video and as you can see, it's just a fabulous um, hot pink. This still looks natural. I love the glossy look in 2022 and my favorite products were products that were uh, a little bit let's say skincare and makeup hybrid meaning that I have very very dry lips and I always need to put some lip balm on them and these products ticked all the boxes. They were glossy, they were hydrating and I didn't need to wear a lip balm underneath them. The first product is the Essence Cranberry Lip Oil. This is fantastic. I made a shorts on it so you can check it out right here. And the second product is a non-sung hero of dr the drugstore. It's the Catrice Better Than Fake Lips Lip Gloss. This lip gloss is so hydrating. I kid you not, if you wear it at night, you will wake up with super smooth lips. I'm not recommending you do it because you know, it's makeup and you shouldn't be wearing makeup overnight, but this happened to me once and I woke up with lips that were so freaking hydrated, you wouldn't believe it. So leave a comment down below telling me uh, which were your favorites this 2022 and which products you think I should try too. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!